Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. There is currently a war going on right now in the world. And this is a war that is happening as we're in this final generation, as we're in this generation that will experience the redemption. And this war, my friends, exists on two levels simultaneously. It exists in the general state within the world where the world is in a spiritual war, and then it exists in a personal state within each and every one of our hearts. And the thing to note is that within our hearts, we have the ability to affect this war in the general world, in the world at large. And this war, my friends, is the is the a war of ideas, a war of, of, of awareness, a war of godliness. Where we are in a physical world. God created us and created this physical world, but we have a godly spark within us. That godly spark is hidden from its is, is is not hidden from Hashem, but its master Hashem is hidden from us, and we are that godly spark, and we have the ability to take godliness and bring it into a revealed state in this world. And what I mean by this, what this war is all about, is that when you walk around in the world, or you are doing what you're doing, the average person, the average state of the world, is that godliness is hidden and physicality is revealed. And our mission as servants of the Almighty in this final generation, in every generation, but how much more so in our generation, where the Rebbe says we will be the, Mashiach, the generation to greet Mashiach, we have the ability to change this physical world into a spiritual place through Torah and mitzvahs and making ourselves aware of Hashem, of God, by thinking about Hashem, by, by meditating, by doing something called Hizbonirus, which means reflecting upon Hashem, thinking about Hashem throughout the day, how there is a creator and we are not here by accident and that everything that happens in our lives is, is planned by the Almighty and has a mission for us to accomplish within it. Everything is a Shkacha Pratis, divine providence. And the Baal Shem Tov explains clearly that a leaf does not fall from the tree without God's command upon it. Meaning down to the very, the most seemingly mundane and physical details of our lives, like a leaf falling in front of us, is from the Almighty Himself. And we have to uncover this godliness within everything. And when we overcome this within our hearts, and this expresses itself in, in, in so many different ways, whether it's laziness, we have the ability to do a good deed for another person. We have the ability to learn a bit of extra Torah, to pray with a little bit more patience and focus and connection to the master, to our master. Or whether it's, you know, deciding to, to, to overcome our emotions and to treat those around us with more respect, even when we feel like that is a challenging thing. When we overcome ourselves, we fight this war within our own hearts against the evil inclination that we all have a godly soul and an animal soul. And if this animal soul is not in tune with Hashem, our godly soul is a part of God, but our body sometimes has its own desires, God forbid. And those desires, God forbid, could sometimes be against what God wants from us, God forbid. But when we overcome ourselves and we align our bodies with our souls, and we and that is through Torah and Mitzvah, the Torah is down, teaches us how to literally conduct ourselves with our own bodies. When we conduct our bodies in a way of godliness, they become a vessel, they become purified, and they become a reciprocal to receive the divine light. That is why when we eat kosher food, if you're Jewish, and you follow the, all the laws of the Torah, when you're a righteous gentle, you follow the seven laws of Noah, you make your body a vessel to experience the divine. And this further with the learning of Chassidus and Kabbalah, the Chassidus actually teaches Kabbalah, so through Chassidus you learn Kabbalah, learning about the secrets of the Torah, it also allows your brain and your mind and your thoughts to connect to divine activities, to connect to divine information, to connect to the Almighty, to learn about godliness, to learn about Hashem. When you do this, your whole life becomes illuminated with the divine light. And this will literally, what goes on within our hearts, automatically and literally affects the world directly. That the world, as each and every one of us within our hearts become more aware of God, the world itself becomes more aware of God. The physical world starts to become a, a vessel for godliness as well. And this is the whole point of creation. That in this physical world, when we were above, by the way, our souls, when they were above, they experienced Hashem. They were aware of Hashem. They had no evil thoughts. Everything was crystal clear. God was one. God is always one. But we felt it. Now in this physical world, sometimes things happen that try to that make themselves seem like they're by accident or they're hidden from God. But through our service, we bring it into revelation that we learn that there's actually nothing else besides God. And our souls knew that above. But down here in this low physical world, we are to change this physicality into awareness of God. And when this world gets, you know, purified and it becomes a vessel for Hashem 
which will be marked by the coming of Mashiach and the building of the base of Mikdash. When this, when the world transforms into a new state, a new development of this world, the light that shines here will be far greater than any level of heaven. So God bless you all. This is all prophecy. This is all the teachings of Chassidus. It's all from the Torah that, the, that it says, mm-hmm. It's in the book of Deuteronomy. We learn that when on this day, we'll, the whole world will know there's a God. Nature and godliness will be unified in a revealed state. All of, all of the physical world will become a lens, will become a, 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 an area which is radiating with the divine light. My Shem bless you all. This is something really to get excited about. So let's share this message. Let's spread this with the world. And let's bring Mashiach. My Shem bless you all.